Next up at UFC 269, we have Jeff Neal versus Santiago Ponzanibio. Jeff Neal is 13 and 4 overall, 3 and 2 in his last five, coming off of two decision losses in a row. Santiago Ponzanibio is 28 and 4, 4 and 1 in his last five. Listen, Jeff Neal just got caught driving drunk. He just got hit with a DUI. He caught himself a gun charge on Thanksgiving, and this was actually the next town over from where I live. Apparently, the gun is legally owned, so he's not like some gun-running thug. He has a legally owned gun, but obviously, if you get caught drinking and driving and there's a gun in a car, legal or not, that sort of complicates things. Right now, he's fighting it. He never took the breathalyzer, so uh, it's suspicion of driving under the influence, and his lawyer says it's looking good to get tossed out just pending the blood results. To me, the alarming part is, why is he drinking two weeks before a fight? But listen, Jeff Neal is a very good striker. He's got real power, solid volume. Solid takedown defense. He isn't the most technical, but with his power and aggression, he doesn't need to be. Jeff likes to dictate the pace, so he likes to be the one pushing. He likes to be the one making things happen. He likes to keep the range, and he likes to control those exchanges. If he can stay at kicking range and use those kicks to set up his punches, he will have a ton of success. But if you get in his face, you tie him up, you make it dirty, he gets frustrated and exhausted. Similar to Jeff Neal, Ponzinibbio is a very good striker. He likes to stay out of the pocket. He doesn't uh, mix in kicks as well as Jeff does, but Ponzinibbio has very clean striking and perfect range control. He keeps people at the end of his punches, and he's one of the very few people who uses range and reach really well. He doesn't have a ton of raw power, which is why stoppages um, are volume-based TKOs and not those one-punch walk-off knockouts that we see from Jeff Neal. But I mentioned Ponzinibbio controls range and uses his his reach really well. He does not have the longer reach in this fight, but I guarantee come fight night, it will look like he does. And we talk about that all the time. I hear so many people say, oh, this person has a one-inch reach advantage on tapology, so they're going to win. This is a perfect fight, perfect fight to just expose that logic. Jeff Neal has a reach advantage, you know, doesn't really use his reach to as well uh, as Ponzinibbio does, who does not have as good of a reach, and I guarantee he'll use it uh, more successfully. Skills aside, skills aside, I know there's specifics still up in the air, but the, the fact that Jeff Neal was drinking two weeks before a fight is just a bad look. DUI or not, it's just a bad look. Two weeks before, that's when you should be eating clean, sticking to it, because you're going to have to water load soon. And alcohol, salt, all of that is just absolutely miserable for you. I have managed professional fighters for 15 years, and none of them who took their career seriously would be drinking two weeks out before a fight, let alone drinking enough to get pulled over for swerving. We're not talking one or two glasses of wine to wind down. He drank enough that he was swerving and got pulled over. If we put all of that aside and we just look at the skills, we don't factor in the extracurriculars, you know, this is a great fight, <laughs> but I need to lean on Ponzinibbio here. I think Jeff is the more dangerous fighter. He's got the more raw power, um, but he needs to be dictating the pace. He needs to dictate the range. He needs to be in control of the situation, or he's on the wrong end of the exchanges and, and he'll lose decisions like he did in his last two fights. Um, I don't think Ponzinibbio is going to let him control the range. I mentioned Ponzinibbio doesn't have as good of reach. You know, he doesn't have the reach advantage. But he uses it much better, and I think he'll have a lot of success with that. I think Ponzinibbio will come forward. He'll keep uh, Jeff at the end of his stuff. He'll stay busy. He'll frustrate and eventually tire out a dangerous Jeff Neal. Ponzinibbio is the pick. And a half a unit money line is what I've got going on Ponzinibbio here. And that's mostly because of the amount of money I had in that sports book. I just threw it on there. So I do have a money line on Ponzinibbio, only half a unit. DraftKings. You pick, man. If you think Jeff Neal's going to knock this dude out, which he's got the power to do it, then obviously go Jeff Neal. 8000 bucks. Ponzinibbio, $8,200. I think he gets the win. He should definitely be in one of my lineups. Monkey Knife Fight Strike Line, it's an interesting one. I, more and more is probably the play because I don't necessarily think there's a stoppage. I just think Ponzinibbio is going to frustrate Jeff Neal, come forward. I mentioned that Ponzinibbio doesn't have that one-punch raw power but he does have the, you know, the TKO volume and accuracy. So I think he'll be in, in Jeff Neal's face, frustrate him, uh, potentially could stop him, but I think there'll be decent back and forth, probably goes to a decision or close to one. So Monkey Knife Fight, more and more. If you don't know what Monkey Knife Fight is, it's Daily Fantasy. 
You go in, you pull up the app, you go to the website, and you look at the strike line, and you say more or less. And if you're right, you can three times your money. If you string a few of those together, you can 25 times your money. Ton of fun. WeWantPicks.com slash MKF. They'll instantly match your deposit. Take that free money. Play a bunch of those lines. If you lose it, who cares? It was free money. And don't forget to go to WeWantPicks.com slash bets. Make a deposit. And any one of our five betting partners, let me know, and I'll send you 50 bucks as a thank you. Hey, before you go, don't forget, we have a Discord server. We have a full Discord for all of you, and it is 100% free. I see you guys in the comments section all the time, going back and forth, giving your opinions, giving your picks, giving your plays, arguing. Do that on the Discord server. Take that there, full conversations. All the information is there. It is 100% free. The link is in the description. And I would be letting myself down if I didn't remind you to go to wheelandpicks.com slash bets. We have five betting partners, five. They all have pros and cons. Bet Online's got the best props. Bet US has the best parlays and the best customer service. Bovada and my bookie let you cash out. So if you're three legs into a four leg parlay, you can cash out and take your money before risking it with that fourth fight. Any one of them is a good pick. Books aren't loyal to you. You don't need to be loyal to them. Make a deposit. Let me know. I'll send you 50 bucks. You do all five. I'm sending you 250 bucks. And don't forget to go to weonpicks.com slash MKF. Monkey Knife Fight is fun. It is legal. It is easy. And it is daily fantasy. You make a deposit. They match it. You play some strike lines. It's super fun. If you lose, who cares? Just play the free deposit match money. You lose that. It's not yours. It doesn't matter. I'll see you guys on Saturday for all the things.